Hey YouTubers, today we're going to automate mana production in Botania. The prerequisites for this are 1 endo flame and 64 pool. We're going to want to build 1 mana spreader, 1 mana pool, 1 to 9 endo flames, 1 open crate, 1 hopper, 6 redstone, 1 timer, 64 coal, and 1 wand of the forest. Place down your mana pool and then place down your mana spreader. We're going to want to link our mana spreader to our mana pool. So pull out your wand of the forest, shift, right click on the mana spreader so you can see the outline. Then hold shift and right click on the mana pool. If you hover over your mana uh, spreader, it'll say mana pool underneath and that's how you know they're linked. Next, place down your endo flames within three blocks behind your mana spreader. Make sure that the endo flames are linked to your mana spreader by the uh, mana spreader icon with a check mark next to it. If that is not shown, shift right click on your endo flame and then shift right click on your mana spreader to link those. Next. Place your open crate directly above your endo flames. They need to be within three blocks of the drop zone to convert that item into mana. Next, shift right click a hopper connected to the open crate and then place a redstone torch connected to the hopper to keep it turned off. Then we're going to want to place down our timer with a redstone to keep our redstone torch from staying on constantly. Open up your timer delay, and depending on how many endo flames you're using, you're going to use a different timer delay amount. Since I'm using two, I'm going to use a timer delay of about 400. Open up your hopper and throw your coal in. So every 400 ticks, which is 20 seconds, it will drop one coal and convert the coal into mana. And then the mana will be sent to our mana pool. Once the mana pool has enough energy or mana, you can place in an item and it will convert the item into a different substance. For example, glowstone gets converted into glittering powder. However, we can change this if we place down an alchemy catalyst directly underneath the mana pool, our glowstone will now be converted into redstone. Thanks for watching.